In today's video, we're sharing with you the top five tips for planning your wedding decor. Especially if you're struggling with this, you definitely wanna keep watching. I cannot count how many times I've had my clients tell me they don't know where to begin on planning their wedding decor. And I get it, it can be super tough, especially if you don't normally do much that is design related or aesthetic in nature. But you will definitely wanna have some kind of decorations at your wedding, and you probably want it to look nice. Where do you begin? First, if you're struggling in this area, get professional help. You wanna find and hire a professional who does this for a living. Most people wouldn't try to do the brakes on a car without expertise in that area, or try to sell a house with someone's help who has done it before. But people regularly try to design a cohesive wedding with zero experience. Sometimes they do an okay job, but more often than not, they either struggle with the whole process for an outcome that probably could have been better, or they end up hiring someone to help them. Skip the struggle and hire a pro and you'll be ahead of the game. And who doesn't want that? When looking to hire someone to help with the visual aspect of your wedding, you wanna either look for a planner who has demonstrated a design experience or a florist or event designer with a portfolio you enjoy. Trust your professionals. I know, this seems like the same as the first tip, right? But I promise it's not. Once you find and hire professionals, you have to actually let them do their jobs and help you. That doesn't mean doing every single thing they say or losing your voice in the planning process, but it does mean that when you're out of your depth, you should rely on them for what they're good at. Be open to their ideas and advice and suggestions and trust them for what they bring to the table. If you don't, then why'd you hire them at all? Figure out what you don't like. It's almost as important to know what you like as it is to know what you do not like. Sometimes it can be even more important to be able to narrow things down in this way. So try to figure this out early. If you're not sure, Trust your gut as you're looking at ideas. What are you drawn to? What makes you uncomfortable, uninterested? Sometimes it can be helpful to consider your home decor style or your fashion style, because typically there will be some connection between those things and your wedding design preferences. Keep it simple. When all else fails, simplicity will serve you well. If you don't know what to do, try to find one thing you really like and build off that. Add in some candlelight for extra romance or stick with a single color palette if you're not sure how to mix colors. There's no need to get too complex if decor is not your strength or your priority. Avoid trends you may regret. People ask all the time about what trends we're seeing in the wedding world. And honestly, I'm the worst person to ask that question because I don't care about trends. I want my clients to choose things they feel are beautiful and do things they care about. I don't wanna help them plan the trendiest wedding of the season unless every single one of those trends is meaningful to them because then, of course, I'm all in. Now, this doesn't mean I don't think new and creative ideas are fun. In fact, I love it when people find something like that and wanna work it into their wedding. The key for me is in the why. Do you wanna do this thing or have this thing only for its trendiness? If so, it may not be long until you look back on your wedding photos wishing you had done something differently. Try to avoid trend regret by focusing on things that are truly meaningful to you as a couple and you won't go wrong. Decor can also be pricey, so watch our video linked up on screen now to learn how you can save money on your wedding flowers. Thanks for watching and happy planning.